What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 MT video, and today guys, we got market talk, nothing new, every day we got market talk, my content for market talk has been amazing, MT methods, all that good stuff. Make sure to smash that like button as well. We're giving away 20,000 MT. 40 likes on the video. We will give away 20,000 MT to a random comment, sub in the comments. Just make sure to drop the sub too. Turn on those noties. We're posting every day. One to two to three videos a day. On my off days, usually three day, three videos. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Let's get into the market. So let's look at our packs. So as you know, I usually talk about the packs a lot in these market videos on how to make MT because packs is what the, makes the market go round and round so since they do have a lot of packs out um but they had them out for a couple days market isn't that hot i can tell you that right now they did not drop any new content today they did drop content yesterday and now this is what i'm thinking so market's gonna be high i'm not even gonna look at the market yet i know right off the bat it is high so um pretty much what i'm gonna say is since packs have been out for a while you kind of do want to sell your cards now because I'm predicting now it's kind of close. We're getting closer and closer to Black Friday. What happens on Black Friday? Usually 2K drops some crazy sale and some crazy packs, meaning I'm going to spam the credit card. Most of you guys are going to spam the credit card. We're going to get like a Thanksgiving gift from our aunt. Not me anymore, but some of you youngins out there, um, you're going to get some Microsoft points for no reason on Thanksgiving. And you're gonna be like, word, I'm gonna go pop packs. Like, I'm gonna pull packs. I'm gonna get pink diamonds. No, you're gonna get sapphires, but still, some of you guys are gonna pull pink diamonds. Me, I'll pull sapphires. But yeah, um, since there's gonna be a huge market crash coming, there's gotta be a huge market crash coming. There hasn't been a big one. If there is a big market crash, we're all gonna make MT. I'm gonna show you how in this video. And there's just a bunch of MT making methods for you guys. Pretty much buying and selling, it's simple. It's like buying stuff for low, selling it for later. We're gonna go all over that. We're gonna go over cards you should buy and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So right now, right off the bat, one card I believe you should buy. Now it is um, either Richard Hamilton, Adrian Danley, or C Kevin McHale. So let's go over them. Let's check out these prices. Why do I say this? Because these cards are gone next week. You're going to get them for the low, and if a market does crash, you're not really going to be affected by it. So, as you can see, this Ruby Adrian Danley is under 1300 MT. If he's under 1300 MT, just go buy him. He's so cheap, you won't even realize your MT is gone. Now, let's see. If you could get this card for under 1000 MT, and you could wait about a week or two, this card will skyrocket probably around 3K. And now, I'm going to show you some proof behind that. So let's see, he's rocking around 1200 MT. I already have one, I'll buy a couple more. And, but yeah, this card's so cheap, it's a ruby that you're gonna need for the set in the future for people who did not buy the set or do the set. So this card in the future will probably rise up to 2K. Let's say you buy 100, that's 100K. You sell them for 22, you make 1000 clean, you make 100,000 MT. I'm literally giving it a week and a half. So rack up on these dudes. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about right here. Uh, let's go over an older one. Let's check out Ruby Otis Thorpe, see what he's rocking around. Perfect example. Perfect A1, perfect example. So now, this card right here was literally 1200 MT. What is he at? 2800, 2400 MT after 2427. So now, you could take my word or you could diss me and say you're stupid. But this is a prime example. I should have bought a million Otis Thorpes for 1,000 MT. He's at 3,000 MT. And why? People are going to buy these cards. They're going to buy them. People have to do the set. Pick up 50. Pick up 20. Pick up 30. Pick up 100. Buy them. Sell them later. Sell them week, two, three weeks later. Realistically, if you buy 50 of them, 50K is not a lot of MT. If you're racking up MT like me, listen to my videos, this card is the money maker. Adrian Danley, try them out. Any rubies you see for under 1,200 where the packs are going on soon, pick them up. But sell them, I would say max two weeks later because two weeks, something crazy could happen that could redrop those packs and ruin your day. So try it out. Some sapphires are not a bad option too. I like sticking with the rubies though because rubies do have more value than sapphires. So try out the ruby method. It's been working for me. Um, I did it off Shaq. That was a sapphire. That was earlier in the game. I bought a lot of Shaqs. He was like 1 to 2K. He's at like 5, 6 now. Um, made a ton of empty off the shack. That was also early in the game. So pretty much earlier in the game, the highest car was the Amethyst. 
Meaning that now the rubies were the sapphires back then, if you understand what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, that's what I did. Now, let's go over my diamond filter. It's the money filter. Um, let's go over it. So this filter pretty much is a great sniping filter. Not only that, it shows you if the market's dead or not. And as you can see, if you see only Austin Carr, this is my method to seeing if the market's hot right now. If you see anything other than Austin Carr, that means the market is somewhat popping a little bit. If you see only Austin Carr, it means that no one's posting because Austin Carr is always sitting up here. No one buys this card. It's a terrible, honestly, this card is useless. I'm sorry. A 6'4 shooting guard. He should be a point guard. This card is useless. You will see him sit up on here forever. That's why you know the market's dead when you only see him. When you see Julius Irvings popping up in here and like Mosh Burns for like under 30K, that means the market is lit and it's popping. Other than that, right now, you should not buy cards. I would recommend going to the auction, taking my ideas, sell all your cards now, wait till an auction, uh, auction um, issue comes, auction, uh, auction crash. I always post when auction crashes happen, so... Stay tuned for those videos. They help a lot. A lot of my uh, subs have been saying that it's been helping them. So if you guys have any other empty methods for me to put out to the community, let me know. I'll drop a video on it ASAP. All of my subs have been telling me some great empty methods I've been putting out for you guys. So yeah, make sure to tell me. Also, let's get into my other filter. We got Amethyst uh, NBA 20 filter. This filter has been the money filter since day one. I, it's just so good. It's just the easiest filter to make MT off. The cards sell fast. For some reason, everybody loves these Amethyst cards, and they're straight garbage in my opinion. So let's go over it. So my methods on this filter, I'll tell you all about this filter. My favorite filter in the game. It's so easy, and snipes pop up even when the auction is dead. So right now, as you can see, it looks like their, mat, their, uh, their base price is at 19 k now. That is a snipe. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so as you can see, their base price is around 19K. Now, who is they? It's Paul George, Kawhi, and Harden. What you want to do, you want to try to get these cards around 14K or under. Listen, a lot of my subset has been popping up. For me, it has been popping up too. Try to set your buyouts like 19 and scroll a little bit. Um, you want to buy these cards for under 14, sell them later. You can maybe sell them for 20 to 21K. Right now, they're out of base 19, but... If you make them, if you make solid three, four, five, six k off these cards, it's solid. But you want to try to get these for under fourteen k. But why do I like this filter? There's four other outcomes. You get an, Anto an Anthony Davis, you get a Kevin Durant, a LeBron, or Curry, and Giannis. So five other players in this, which you will make a lot more MT than just these cards. So this filter, best filter in the game. Now I just got that Durant for nineteen k. Let's check out his price. Even if he's twenty two k. I'm going to wait till probably later tonight, later on in the night. If you're inter if you really want to sell your cards like ASAP, sell them late in the night because every card goes up late in the night. It's always the best time to sell. Never buy late at night. You'll always wake up to losing MT every single time. If you wait, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, Kevin Durant's at 25k. I just got him for a solid 19. Now, I'm going to sell him. I'm going to make a solid th Oh my, God, I thought I just quick so so I'm gonna make a solid 3k that fast. What did I go on the auction? What did I press start once? I press start once and made 3k MT. It's that easy. You could wait a little bit longer, maybe sell for 27, but I'm gonna take my dub now because what happens if I wait and the market crash happens? You're just gonna have to wait even longer. So yeah, that filter in my opinion is straight moolah. Try it out. It's been money for me. It's been money for the community. Definitely go try it out. Um, other than that, man. Also, some other methods for you guys. That's been working out for me. If you didn't see my auction up here, I saw, I, you see some old collection cards like Marbury, these three guys. These cards are going for so much MT just because they're not in packs for a while. Now, this gold card is going for around, what, 3K? He was literally a base of like 600 MT. Let's check his price. 3,300. I, I could have bought a million of these for like under 1,000, probably 900. He's at 2,700 now. So if you want to buy some cards, old collection sets, and wait maybe a month, you could literally maybe triple, maybe even multiply by four your MT. It works out. It's been working out for me. I have a ton of old cards and old sets that I never sold because I was like, wow, they're 1K. Let me just keep in my collection and wait. But yeah, there's a ton of different MT methods in the game. Make sure to follow this video. It's going to help you guys out. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out my Amy filter. If any of these filters worked out for you guys, any of these methods worked out, drop it in the comments. Thank you, boy, Bugs. Make sure to drop that like too, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Other than that, 
Stay tuned for more videos, bro. We're rocking it. We're freaking posting mad videos. Everybody's been loving it. My views have went from here to here in one week. I was pulling like 100 views a day. Now I'm pulling 400 or 500 a video. It's been awesome. My community's growing. My ranking's growing. I love it, guys. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.